Put your hands up. Uh, put your hands down. Push them out. Break it down. Turn left. Now rock with it. Do it. Divide. Put the number on the top. Multiply. Put the number on the bottom. Subtract. Bring it down. Bring it down. And then, and then, I'ma do it again. Divide. Put the number on the top. Multiply. Put the number on the bottom. Subtract. Subtract. Bring it down. Bring it down. And then, and then, I'ma do it again. Welcome to worksheet number two. This is our computation page for division. We are here on pages 39 and 40. Notice on page 39 we have our division lyrics. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. And then what? I'm going to do it again. We're going to refer to these lyrics in order to answer the questions here on page 40. The directions on page 40 say use the division lyrics to solve the following problems. Note, if you need more space to show your work, use scrap paper. Page 27 will be a great piece of scrap paper if you need some extra space. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're ready and you know it, do your dance. Go, go, get it, get it, get it. All right, let's get started. We're going to look at question number one which is 295 divided by 7. Which of these numbers would be the dividend? 295. So we're going to put 295 inside of the division sign. Let's set that up here. And it looks like this. The divisor is 7. Place that on the outside. Write that down. Since we're working with 7s, we're going to use our answers to our 7 times tables. I'm jotting down 0, 7, 14, 21. Notice I'm just constantly adding 7. Even if I don't have my 7 times tables memorized, I can just start from this number and keep adding. I like to use this strategy, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. That would be the next one. Check this out. I hold at 56. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. That's your next one. Okay? We want to keep adding 7 until we get a total of 10 numbers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers. That lets us know we're good to go. Next, we're going to cover up 295, slide over one digit at a time until we see a number that is larger than 7. So, 2 is not larger than 7, but 29 is. That means we're going to start with 29 divided by 7. What does that mean? Go down your list. Do not pass 29. We can stop at 29. If we see it, we just can't pass it. All right? We would then end up stopping where? 28. You see that? All right. So step 1 is divide. We're going to Find out how many groups of 7 we can get out of 29 and put that number at the top. How do we do that? Count down. So this is 0 groups of 7, 1 group of 7, 2 groups of 7, 3 groups of 7, 4 groups of 7 we can get out of 29. Divide. Put the number of groups at the top. Multiply. 4 times 7. Put the number we stopped at at the bottom. Subtract. 28 from 29 gives us 1. Bring down the 5. And then I'm going to do it again. This time use your list. Do not pass 15. Where would we stop? Right here. We need to know how many groups of 7 we can get out of 15. So we divide 15 divided by 7 tells us how many groups. 0 groups of 7. 1 group of 7. 2 groups of 7. Divide. Put the number at the top. Multiply 2 times 7. That gives us the number we stopped at, 14, at the bottom. Subtract 14 from 15 gives us 1. Bring down. There's nothing to bring down. So that tells us we are finished. Start at the top with 42. Go around the clock. If you have a remainder, the remainder will be the 
numerator and your fraction, and your divisor is your denominator. Make sure you have this written down nice and neatly inside of your student workbook. Again, if you need additional scrap paper, you can use page 27. So 295 divided by 7 equals 42 and 1 7. Looking great? I think we're on to something. Let's check out number two.